Hi children, welcome to the fifth tutorial of the chapter Applications of Trigonometry. E tutorial la manam exercise twelve point two ki sammandhi chhene twenty problem number one inchi problem number three ki solutions chodam. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos on tenth class mathematics. So this is your question number one. A TV tower stands vertically on the side of a road. From a point on the other side, directly opposite to the tower, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is sixty degrees. From another point, ten meter away from this point, on the line joining this point to the foot of the tower, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is thirty degrees. Find the height of the tower and the width of the road. So here in this problem, we have a tower, and this is on a side of a road. This is a TV tower. Actually, man, ke cell phone towers atla onna yo. TV towers kora atla onta. So that they actually amplify the signals, right? So it's on the side of a road. On the other side of a road, there is an observer, and when this observer observed the top of the tower, he observed that the angle of elevation was 60 degrees. So, this is basic observation. Okay, road ki, okay, when the tower undi, other side of the road there is an observer, and when this observer observed the top of that TV tower, he observed that the angle of elevation was 60 degrees. Now, then he moved 10 meter away from the present position. So, he put in a place around about 10 meters. When he did it, then he observed once again the top of the tower. Man, in that moment, what did he do? A tall object is inchi. Two hundred degrees away, the angle of elevation decreases out of it. So, he put it at 10 meters. When he did it, the observer he found that the angle of elevation decreased to 30 percent. So, this man did it in 20 situation. So, road to one side, inchi man observed just now. The top of the tower, ni first the angle of elevation was 60 degrees. When the observer moved 10 meter away from the present position, he observed that the angle of elevation was only 30 degrees. Now we have to find two things. One is the height of the tower and the width of the road. These two values we have to calculate. Chayali. So let us try to draw the diagram for this. Consider this as the level ground, and AB is the tower. C is the point on the other side of the road. Ante ante BC road yaka width na mata. Now D is the second point. From C, the angle of elevation was 60 degrees. Other side of the road, Ninchi, 60 degrees. And from D, which is 10 meters away from C, the angle of elevation was 30 degrees. इधी मान किचन टू बंटी इनफॉरमेशन. Now let us write the information we have. AB is height of the tower. That is what we have to calculate. C and D are initial and final positions of the observer. BC is the width of the road. Let us take it as x. मान विट्टी कैलकुलेट चल. I'll take it as x meter. Now distance from the first position to second position is actually 10 meter. So CD is the distance between the first and second positions of the observer, and the distance is actually 10 meter. Now we have two angles of elevation. One is angle ACB is the angle of elevation of the tower from C that is equal to 60 degrees. First angle of elevation is okay. Now second angle of elevation is actually angle ADB, and this is the angle of elevation from the point D, and this angle is equal to 30 degrees. So, we cannot find the information used here. So, we have to calculate the height of the tower and the width of the road. So, here basically we have two right angle triangles. Let us consider the first right angle triangle. That is triangle ABC. Now, here we have the angle 60 degrees, and for 60, AB is the opposite side, and X is the adjacent side. So, opposite by adjacent, as we know, it is actually tan. So, let us take tan 60 degrees. Tan 60 degrees is Opposite by adjacent, AB by BC or AB by CB. You can write tan 60 is actually square root of 3. So on the left side you will have root 3. AB we don't know AB. We have to calculate and we have taken CB as x. So this will be AB by x. When you do cross multiplication, you can take root 3 as root 3 by 1. Then we have AB into 1 is equal to x into root 3 or AB is equal to x root 3. Take it as the equation number 1. So man ki AB ki X की रिलेशन होती है ना टी वी गोट ए रिलेशन बिटवीन हाइट ऑफ़ द टावर एंड विड्थ ऑफ़ द रोड नाउ लेट अस कंसीडर द सेकंड राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल दैट इस ट्रायंगल एबीडी नाउ व्हाट इस द एंगल हियर इट्स एक्चुअली 30 डिग्रीज वी हैव द ऑपोजिट साइड एबी एंड नाउ द एडिशनल साइड इस डीबी सो लेट अस टेक � Now DB is actually 10 plus x. ये 10 नहीं x नहीं plus चेस थे d नहीं चुबे कोनो distance होता है. So this is actually equal to AB by x plus 10. When you do cross multiplication, AB into root 3 is equal to x plus 10 into 1. 
So AB into root 3, AB root 3 on the right side, x plus 10 into 1, and x plus 10 is So AB is root 3 multiply just when you transpose it to the other side, it will divide. Right side ever know already we have x plus 10. So from this you can write AB is equal to x plus 10 divided by square root of 3. So this is taken as equation 2. Manu equation 1, equation 2 observe jason it like these two equations have AB on their left side. If you have two equations, so left hand side is equal, automatically right hand sides are also equal because according to Euclid, things equal to the same thing are equal to one another, right? Now from equation 1 and 2, I can take right hand sides equal and x root 3 is equal to x plus 10 by root 3. Root 3 could have divide just in x plus 10. When you transpose it to the left side, it will multiply x root 3. So on the left side, now you have x root 3 into root 3 is equal to x plus 10. On the left side, you have root 3 into root 3. Root 3 into root 3 is 3 into x. So you have 3x is equal to x plus 10. Transpose x to the left side, then it will become minus x. And 3x minus x is equal to 10. 2x is 10. Therefore, x is equal to 5. So many x value. Actually, what is x here? Width of the road. So we have calculated width of the road as 5 meter. Now from equation 1. AB is equal to x root 3. And x value ni root 3 to multiply yes, then AB is equal Therefore, AB is x root 3 kada x place row. You have to write 5. That means 5 root 3. So, AB is actually height of the tower. Therefore, height of the tower is equal to 5 root 3 meter. So, by applying tan, we have calculated both width of the road and height of the tower. Let us look at the next problem. A 5 point meter tall boy is looking at the top of a temple which is 30 meter in height and from a point at a certain distance. So here we have a problem involving height of the observer. Observer yaka height is shared. Ikarman observer ni point ga thi score and clay. The observer ni kodoka line segment ga ni thi score. And he observed the top of a temple and height of the temple is actually 30 meter. Then the angle of elevation from his eye to the top of the crown of the temple increases from 30 degrees to 60 degrees as he walks towards the temple. So, Atanu, observe Jason point ninchi temple by Pumundiki straight line lo jargite, angle of elevation 30 ninchi 60 ki increase hain. Now, you have to find the distance walked by the observer towards the temple. So, Atanu, yantha distance travel chesado, angle 30 ninchi 60 ki in the avadan ki, we have to calculate. So, it consider this as a temple. Now, the height of the temple is given as 30 meter and he is the observer and height of the observer is 1.5 meter. When he looked at the top of the temple, that is crown of the temple, the angle of elevation was 30 degrees. Then he walked for 10 meters towards the temple. When he observed from that particular point, the angle of elevation was 60. Now you have to find the distance walked by the observer. So, after blue color, lo the horizontal ga ondo, our distance one calculate real. Here we have two things, height of the temple as well as height of the Observer. Now, let us try to draw the diagram for this. This is a horizontal ground level. Now, this is a temple. AB is the height of the temple. Now, here we have to take CD. Actually, in the Mundu problem, observer 30 degrees, 60 degrees. So, I can observer a point lag. But here in this case, the height of the observer is given. So, on the observer could have a line segment. So, when you have the height of the observer, you have to consider the horizontal. Observe Jason place in Chumano, horizontal line, imagine Jason call. Now from D, the first angle of elevation was 30 degrees. On the ground, he walked from C to F. C ninchu F work walk chased. Then when he observed from that point, the angle of elevation was 60 degrees. Now you have to calculate the distance travelled by him from C to F. C ninchu F work and the distance travel chased. Now here we have a diagram involving triangles and a rectangle. So, I choose not like here this CD and BE are equal because BCDE is a rectangle. So, if you CD 1.5, you can BE 1.5. Now, total height of the temple is actually 30 meter, right? So, so the total height is 30, B into E work 1.5. Then, how much is from A to E? The remaining part 10th onto the it's actually. 28 and half, 28.5, right? So, E information used here is kun manam. We have to find the distance travelled by the observer and C in inch F. Manam, 
ఇక్కడ సిఎఫ్ జిడి అని ఈ రెక్టాంగిల్ కన్సిడర్ చేసినట్లయితే ఈ సిఎఫ్ వాల్యూ ఈ డిజి వాల్యూ ఈక్వల్ మనం యాక్చువల్ ఇక్కడ సిఎఫ్ వాల్యూ కనుక్కోవడానికి డైరెక్ట్ గా వీలు కాదు కాబట్టి మనం డిజిని క్యాల్కులేట్ చేస్తాం ట్రయాంగిల్స్ కన్సిడర్ చేసి కానీ డిజి వాల్యూ సిఎఫ్ వాల్యూ ఈక్వల్ సో నవర్ ఎయిమ్ ఈస్ టు క్యాల్కులేట్ ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ డిజి కింద ఉన్నటువంటి రెక్టాంగిల్స్ మనం ఇగ్నోర్ చేసి యు కెన్ జస్ట్ కన్సిడర్ ద ట్రయాంగిల్స్ అట్ ద టాప్ దెన్ యూ కెన్ సాల్వ్ దిస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ రైట్ లెట్ ఇస్ డూ దిస్ లెట్ ఇస్ రైట్ ద ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ దట్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఏబి ఈస్ హైట్ ఆఫ్ ద టెంపుల్ థర్టీ మీటర్ సి అండ్ ఎఫ్ ఆర్ ఇనిషియల్ అండ్ ఫైనల్ పొజిషన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద బాయ్ then cd is the height of the boy 1.5 meter cf is the distance walked by the boy and that is equal to dg man cf calculate cheyali but we will calculate dg right then angle ade is the angle of elevation of the temple from c observer boy c degree unnapudu athana angle of elevation 30 degrees adhe boy f ki move ayinappudu angle of elevation 60 degrees now i have considered only the triangular part now let us take d to g as x and g to e as y సో మనం కన్వీనియన్స్ కోసం ఎక్స్ అండ్ వై అనే వేరియబుల్స్ ఇక్కడ యూజ్ చేసుకున్నాం రైట్ నా ఫస్ట్ లెట్ ఇస్ కన్సిడర్ ట్రాయాంగిల్ ఏ జిఈ వాట్ ఈస్ యాంగిల్ హియర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ థర్టీ డిగ్రీస్ నా హియర్ ఇన్ దిస్ ట్రాయాంగిల్ వీ హ్యావ్ ద ఆపోజిట్ సైడ్ అండ్ వీ నీడ్ ట్యాన్ హియర్ సో లెట్ ఇస్ టేక్ ట్యాన్ సిక్స్టీ ఆపోజిట్ బై ఎడ్జసెంట్ ఏఈ బై జిఈ ట్యాన్ సిక్స్టీ డిగ్రీస్ ఈజ్ రూట్ త్రీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ బై వై బికాస్ వీ హ్యావ్ టేకెన్ జిఈ యాజ్ వై క్రాస్ మల్టిప్లై చేస్తే యూ విల్ హ్యావ్ వై ఇన్ టు రూట్ త్రీ is equal to 28.5 into 1 or y is equal to 28.5 by root 3 right take it as equation 1 now let us consider the bigger triangle triangle ade what is the angle in this it's actually 30 degrees now let us take tan 30 tan is ae by de tan 30 is 1 by root 3 is equal to ae is 28.5 so numerator lo 28.5 untadi in the denominator d to e is actually sum of x and y so in the denominator we have to write x plus y mali ipudu cross multiply chesinatlayite x plus y into 1 is equal to 28.5 into root 3 x plus y into 1 into x plus y on the right side we have 28.5 root 3 from this keep x on the left side transpose y to the right side then you have x is equal to 28.5 root 3 minus y but from equation 1 y is equal to 28.5 by root 3 so ipudu ikkada manu ee step lo y place lo 28.5 by root 3 ni substitute chesam ankonni you will have x is equal to 28.5 root 3 minus 28.5 by root 3 y place lo manu equation 1 lo vachinatundi y value ni substitute chesam now here we have to subtract one value from the other and this is actually a fraction so let us take lcm 1 ki root 3 ki lcm root 3 right now ikka denominator 1 1 root 3 la root 3 times root 3 into numerator numerator already 28.5 root 3 so ipudu manaki 28.5 root 3 into inkoka root 3 vachindi endukante lcm lonchi vachina value minus ikka denominator and lcm are equal so you can write the numerator you will have 28.5 ikkada okasari numerator ni observe cheyandi 28.5 into root 3 into root 3 we know that root 3 into root 3 is 3 ఇప్పుడు ఆ త్రీతో ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మల్టిప్లై చేయాలి దెన్ యూ విల్ హ్యావ్ ఎయిటీ ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మైనస్ ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ సో ఇన్ ద న్యూమరేటర్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎయిటీ ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మైనస్ ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ బై రూట్ త్రీ ఎయిటీ ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మైనస్ ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ ఇస్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఫిఫ్టీ సెవెన్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫిఫ్టీ సెవెన్ బై రూట్ త్రీ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇదే ఆన్సర్ కానీ బిగ్ హియర్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఎన్ ఇర్రేషనల్ నెంబర్ ఇన్ ద డినామినేటర్ సో లెట్ ఇస్ డూ ద రేషనలైజింగ్ పార్ట్ so we have to multiply both numerator and denominator with root 3 so you will have 57 root 3 divided by 3 endukante denominator root 3 into root 3 is 3 ee 3 57 lo 19 times so you have 19 root 3 therefore distance walked by the boy is actually equal to 19 root 3 meter actually ga root 3 place lo 1.732 rasi 19 into 1.732 cheskoda you can write the answer right let us move to the next problem Question number three. A statue stands on the top of a two meter tall pedestal. From a point on the ground, the angle of elevation of the top of the statue is 60 degrees. And from the same point, the angle of elevation of the top of the pedestal is 45 degrees. Find the height of the statue. Manu jodhundi jati naayikul vi, rakarakal vigrahal vi manu choosthu ontam. A vigrahan actually ka mundu, one stage lantit the construct chesi base dhan paina, 
స్టాచ్యూని పెడతారు సో అది పెడస్టల్ అంటే ఓకే సో హియర్ వి హ్యావ్ అ స్టాచ్యూ ఐ హ్యావ్ టేకిన్ ది స్టాచ్యూ ఆఫ్ ఫాదర్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ నేషన్ మహాత్మా గాంధీ దెన్ హైట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ పెడస్టల్ ఈస్ టూ మీటర్ సో పెడస్టల్ అంటే ఆ బేస్ అనమాట ఇది టూ మీటర్ హైట్ ఉంది నౌ ఫ్రమ్ అ పాయింట్ ద యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఎలివేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టాచ్యూ ఈస్ సిక్స్టీ డిగ్రీస్ ఇదే పాయింట్ నుంచి స్టాచ్యూని అబ్జర్వ్ చేశారు ఆ పెడస్టల్ యొక్క టాప్ ని అబ్జర్వ్ చేశారు అండ్ ద యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఎలివేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద టాప్ ఆఫ్ ద పెడస్టల్ ఈస్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ డిగ్రీస్ చూడండి ఒకసారి ఫ్రమ్ ద సేమ్ పాయింట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టూ యాంగిల్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎలివేషన్ ఒక టూ స్టోరీ బిల్డింగ్ ఉంది అనుకోండి ఇది ఎలాంటిది అంటే ఫస్ట్ ఫ్లోర్ ని చూసాడు సెకండ్ ఫ్లోర్ ని చూసాడు అట్లా అనమాట ఫస్ట్ ఫ్లోర్ కన్నా సెకండ్ ఫ్లోర్ కొంచెం టాప్ లో ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి డెఫినెట్ గా యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఎలివేషన్ పెద్దగా ఉంటుంది సో హియర్ ద యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఎలివేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టాచ్యూ ఈస్ సిక్స్టీ డిగ్రీస్ అండ్ ద యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఎలివేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద పెడస్టల్ ఈస్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ డిగ్రీస్ నౌ యూ హ్యావ్ టు క్యాలిక్యులేట్ హైట్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టాచ్యూ ఆ స్టాచ్యూ యొక్క హైట్ ని మనం క్యాలిక్యులేట్ చేయాలి రైట్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు డూ సో లెట్ ఇస్ ట్రై టు డ్రా ద డయాగ్రామ్ ఫర్ దిస్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద లెవెల్ గ్రౌండ్ అండ్ ఏబి ఈస్ ద పెడస్టల్ హూస్ హైట్ ఈస్ టూ మీటర్ ఆ పెడస్టల్ పైన స్టాట్యూ ఉంది సో ఏసి అనేది స్టాట్యూ హైట్ ఆ రెడ్ కలర్ లో ఉంది దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు క్యాలిక్యులేట్ నౌ డి ఈస్ ద పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ అబ్జర్వేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ డి యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఎలివేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద టాప్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టాట్యూ ఈస్ సిక్స్టీ డిగ్రీస్ అండ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద సేమ్ డి యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఎలివేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద పెడస్టల్ ఈస్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ డిగ్రీస్ నో యూ హ్యావ్ టు క్యాలిక్యులేట్ ఏ టు సి మనం ఏ నుంచి సి కి వాల్యూ ని క్యాలిక్యులేట్ చేయాలి లెట్ ఇస్ రైట్ ద ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ దట్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఏబి ఈస్ హైట్ ఆఫ్ ద పెడస్టల్ టూ మీటర్ CA is the height of the statue that is what we have to calculate i'll take it as h so ee height ni manu h ani teeskundam let us take it as h okay now d is the observer angle cdb is the angle of elevation of the statue that is 60 degrees cdb so pedd angle statue top lo undi kabatti angle of elevation will be more and angle adb is the angle of elevation of the pedestal and this is equal to 45 degrees now let us find the height using trigonometric ratio first we'll consider the smaller triangle triangle adb what is the angle in this it's actually 45 now let us write tan of 45 tan 45 is opposite by adjacent ab by db tan 45 we know that it is equal to 1 and ab is 2 so 2 by db cross multiply yes the db is equal to 2 so man ki db value ochindi 2 meters and so we have calculated this db as 2 meter. Now let us consider the bigger triangle, triangle BCD. Now here the angle is actually 60 degrees. So let us take tan 60. Tan 60 degrees is equal to opposite by adjacent that is CB by DB. CB and AD H key 2 and add yes they also did. So in the numerator on the right you will have H plus 2. Denominator actually come on key 2 which in the you can use that 2 also. Tan 60 degrees is actually square root of 3. So square root of 3 is equal to H plus 2 by db cross multiply yes the h plus 2 into 1 is equal to db into root 3 but we got db is equal to 2 so you can right side low in db place low 2 and substitute to h so h plus 2 into 1 and h plus 2 is equal to 2 root 3 right what is the approximate value of root 3 it is actually equal to 1.732 so on the right side in place of root 3 i can write 1.732 1.732 into 2 is 3.464 so h plus 2 is equal to 3.464 h kawal naak e plus 2 na transpose chest it will actually become minus 2 therefore h is equal to 3.464 minus 2 and that is equal to 1.464 therefore height of the statue is equal to 1.464 meter so e vidhanga manu trigonometric ratios to it land problems anni chala easy ga solve jayit now this is your assignment for today Solve these two problems and post the answers to me as early as possible. Thank you.